All right, so now we're going to take a look at Google Forms, which is a really great tool in Google Drive to collect information from people. You can use it to create a survey, you can use it to collect information for, let's say, adding people to a mailing list, or you can use it for an online application. Just any information that you want to collect from people, uh, Google Forms is a great way to do so. So let's create a form. We'll go into Google Drive, select New, go to More, and then select Google Forms. And then our Google Form is going to open up. So let's call this, let's make a survey. We'll call this Rob's Survey. And the description will be, take this survey to let us know how you liked using Google Forms. You can put any instructions in there. So I'm going to create a number of questions, uh, assuming this was a survey, to see uh, how well a customer liked my services. Let's say I was in the service industry and we wanted to use this survey to collect information. So let's go to question one. We have a multiple choice option. Uh, this would be just like a multiple choice quiz. You could create multiple options and then they'd have to click the one they wanted. What I'd like to do with this is I'd like to change the format of the question to a linear scale. So uh, did you, uh, this survey was fun to take. And we've got a scale from one to five where one was not uh, disagree and agree. And so now we've got our scale, just like any other survey. Um, and then let's create a new question. We'll go to the plus sign here and we'll say this survey took too long. And then again, we'll change it to our linear scale and we'll say again, disagree and agree. And um, we'll add another question and we'll say which of the following describes your experience with this survey. And then we can say um, fun but too long, fun, not fun, hated it. And they have to choose one. Um, so very easy to add multiple questions. The other thing that we can do is you can click on a question and you can make a question required, which means they can't go ahead with the survey until they fill out certain questions or all of the questions. Um, the other thing we can also add is let's add a paragraph and it says, please add any additional comments. And so someone could type out in long answer form any comments they might have about their experience with taking this. And that's not going to be required. We won't need that. So very easy to add multiple questions. Uh, let's say we wanted to make another page of questions. Let's say maybe our survey was kind of long. Maybe it had 20 questions. And if someone goes to a survey and they see 20 questions, they might get scared off because it looks like it's going to be too long and take up too much time. So what we can do with, um, with Google Forms is we can actually split the questions up into different pages. So to do so, we're going to go to what looks like this little equal sign here, and it will add a new section. And um, we'll call this section two. And then again, we can add questions here, and I'm just going to add random questions, nothing special. And none of these will be required. We can also add an image. Uh, we can add a title midway. Uh, you were almost done. Um, anything you want to add midway, instructions, anything like that, you can do so. Um, and, uh, you know, pr pretty easy to, 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 um, to, to edit this. So let's take a look at what this would look like to a customer. So you go up to the top right and we select the preview button. And here's what our survey looks like. It's Rob's survey. Take the survey to let us know how you like using Google Forms. And anything with an asterisk is required. So we'll say it was fun to take. Agree. Uh, it was kind of long. Uh, and we said it was fun but too long, and this was a pretty good survey, but I bet you can do better. Now we go next, and it takes us to the next page, and we've got uh, you know these questions. I'm going to select all three, and then we'll hit submit. 
and it says your response has been recorded. Now, let's say we want to maybe personalize that a little bit so it's not so simple. We want to say thank you so much for taking the survey. Your response greatly helps us improve our services. So we can do that pretty easily. We go back to our form, go to our little gear up here on the top, and we can say thank you so much for taking this survey. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. Great. Uh, and of course, I can't spell. Um, so a couple other things in this uh, status, uh, in this little settings uh, box here. One is we can require people to only submit one response, and that requires that they log in with a Google account. This can get a little bit complicated, um, but if you do want to require that, uh, you can, but it's going to mean that people need a Google account in order to fill out the form. If they have another kind of account, it won't work. Um, this is uh, pretty cool. We can um, we can actually have a, a link to let them fill out another response if they wanted to. The other thing is um, you can allow people to go back and edit their response. That again requires login, and then um, you know we can see a summary. It's a quick summary of their answers. In addition to that, there's a progress bar. So if it's a very long survey, you can let people know where they are along the line, and then of course we can shuffle questions so they're in random order. Very, very simple here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one other quick thing is we can customize the color of our survey. Uh, and then, of course, we can add an image to the background, um, which uh, there's a bunch of preset images, which is pretty cool. So maybe we are, um, maybe we're in the food catering business. So we add this little grilling animation. So uh, we load that up. And uh, now we've got our survey looking pretty nice. Let's see what it looks like from the customer view. All right, it's pretty cool. We got a little steak header here and uh, so on and so forth. Um, pretty cool. And again, we can go back to color. So you can do a bunch of little things to you know, edit the way it looks and make it pretty cool. Um, so just to recap, we took a look at how to create a form, how to add a bunch of questions of different styles, how to preview the form, how to change the uh, little auto response when someone submits the form, and how to change the style of the form. Uh, in the next video, we're going to take a look at how to accept responses and different ways of viewing those responses in Google Forms. Uh, but in the meantime, if you have any questions, of course, post your questions to the message board by clicking the link below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.